It's unboxing time, and I'm Sonic Blue, and now we are unboxing the latest package from E Fun Top Vape Units. Uh, they're they're a distributor that's based in China, but their prices are unbelievably low. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this website if you are a vapor like me, and you're looking for some really good deals on some vaping units. Then uh, E Fun Top is a good place to go. However, be warned. They're from China. They ship from China. It will take a while for the vaping units to reach you if you are out of their country. So, without further ado, let's unbox this puppy and see what we got. Whoop. E Fun Lucky Card. $500,000 awards are waiting for picking Scratch to win. see lucky card use guide <laughs> they're Chinese so it's understandable uh, first place 50% 100 winners uh, second place 20% 3,000 winners third place 10% 5,000 winners fourth place 5% 10,000 winners and fifth place 3% 20,000 winners I like those odds but how many people actually do have these fun cards? Well, before we do the unboxing, let's scratch to see if I won. And... I get a code. Oh, there's some instructions here, too. It says, please scratch off the lucky section in positive side of the card. Log into eFun Top and add items into your cart. Put the code in apply coupons to check how much you win. Now that is a very cool idea. That is so cool. It's a mystery coupon. That is so cool. Anyway, it's unboxing time. And today on um, the unboxing videos, I don't know what to call this series of videos because I don't really do many unboxing videos, but um, we'll just... Uh, do an unboxing here and inside this box is an Aspire Pegasus this is the box that comes in completely sealed and there is a scratch and check on the back of the box for authenticity to make sure it is in fact an authentic product so let's unwrap the plastic now I got this unit to see if I needed a backup mod unit for this thing because I noticed that uh, for a short time this started not really be performing well and then all of a sudden it the problem went away I don't know what happened but the problem just went away and now it works normally so I'm still going to keep this as a spare but let's see how well this works nonetheless so unboxing the unit ooh how pretty look at that Solid chrome all the way around. I like that. It's got a nice grip to it. Nice finish to the outer, uh, the outer thing here. There's a dial up at the top, and I'm assuming that the dial is for scrolling through your options in this LCD window. There's your fire button here, and there's your mini USB charger. Uh, this, of course, is where you put the tank. And down here, wow. A very sturdy battery door, spring-loaded for sure, where you put your uh, battery. And I fortunately have a 18650 battery right here. So I'm just going to insert that right, right straight away. Close the door to the battery units, and you have to kind of stretch it out. Oh, and there's the Aspire logo right away. And the dial is for maneuvering the settings, however high of a wattage you want. And let's just stick with 20 for the moment, 20 watts. So that's what this dial is for. Oh, and look at this, folks. Look at this, this is so handy. This is just like Aspire to have. A rotating orientation. So that way, if you hold it upside down, the text follows it. See that? Isn't that cool? Now, let us 
remove this top cradling piece very carefully to get out what's underneath this thing. Now, I like how you can charge the battery while it's still encased in the unit via the USB. Or you could take the battery out and charge it using a traditional battery charger. Now, underneath that cradle is a little box, and inside that little box is your mini USB charging cable. Very attractive looking. And a quick list of destructions. So this basically shows you all of the features of your Pegasus, your Aspire Pegasus, and I love Aspire products. It's the first Aspire vaping unit that I actually have owned. And it says, functionality, wattage output. The Pegasus is a variable wattage device with an operating range of one watt to 70 watts. Resistance parameters. The Pegasus can fire coals from 0 .0, uh, 0 0.2 ohms to 5.0 ohms. And voltage output, 1 volt to 8 volts. Standby discharge current or of less than 100 UAs. Vapors may enjoy 12 second puffs. Wattage is adjustable via the gear, which is the top thing I showed you. The Pegasus reads the atomizer's resistance automatically. And uh, protective features, discharge protection, short circuit protection, high temperature protection, high voltage protection, and reverse battery protection. So they give you a lot of protection here. Display, 0 0.86 inch OLED display, battery 118650. Onboard charging, micro USB, five volt output, temperature control, viable with nickel coils. Destructions. Turning the mod on will cause the display to display the battery level, the output voltage, the resistance of the coil, and the current wattage setting. The display will shut off after the mod is unused for one minute. The discharge current will then drop below 100 UAs. The display can be relit by pressing the fire button or by adjusting the gear's position. The mod will read the coil's resistance as soon as a connection is detected. Vapors can adjust the Pegasus wattage by turning the adjustment gear. Turn right will increase the wattage, turn left will decrease. Simply press the fire button to activate the Pegasus. Pegasus will automatically cut the power after 12 seconds of use. Screen will display the message over 12S along with a clock. To begin using again, simply repress the fire button. Blah, 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 blah. Destructions. More destructions. When there is no atomizer on the Pegasus or one with resistance higher than 5.0 ohms, the device will not function. The display will read check atomizer. Clicking the button five times. That's what I want to find out because I know all about the other stuff. Clicking the button five times within two seconds will either lock or unlock the Pegasus. While the device is locked, the display will read locked. Click 5X. While, uh, while in this locked state, the mod will not fire nor will the gear allow you to adjust the wattage setting. To unlock the device, press the fire button five more times within two seconds. The display's readout will auto-rotate depending on the mod's orientation. The display will remain lit while charging, displaying the current battery level via the battery icon. How fantastic is that? So, I guess you have to figure out when you click the unit three times to go through the uh, settings like most other mods have. Oh, it says check atomizer, of course. Well then, let's go ahead. I don't know if this is temperature control. It did say something about temperature control, but maybe I have to attach a tank to it. And I am attaching my iClear tank. And now it should automatically read at 1.67 ohms. So let's test this out at 20 watts. Wow, this is a strong little unit. And that's a bit strong of a wattage, so let's turn this down. What I usually like to do is around 18 for mods like this. That way you don't get a strong metallic burn taste to it by pumping it up to 21 or 22 or 25. 18 is just right. 
but you can lower it down. Good, raise it to a 19 and should be. Whoa! Yeah, definitely takes some getting used to using the dial here. And it appears to be that you cannot use the gear to go 0.5. So it's all done in the uh, numbers column. The uh, um, You can only go from 1 to 70, but you can't go 0.5. It'll always read 0 0.0. But I like how the orientation and the screen flips. And it shows the battery indicator, the voltage, everything. Nineteen is just fine. So this is the Aspire Pegasus, and it works really well. It's easy to jump into and use. And it's got a very strong battery compartment. That's what I like about this. Now, as opposed to the VV Gripper mod from Smoke Tech, these things are very delicate. I'm surprised this one is still uh, very much intact. But this one is so strong you practically have to use force almost in order to push it back down. That's how strong this thing is. So let's hope that this Aspire Pegasus is exactly as it is said to be a very powerful vaping unit. And it's got a great feel to it. The, uh, the finish here is not slippery. It's got a nice grip ability to it. It's like, you know, when you pick this up, chances are you're not gonna let it drop because it fits very well in the hand and it doesn't, it doesn't slip, it doesn't skip or anything, and it's got a beautiful Pegasus logo down at the bottom. I like this unit. So, if you're interested in checking out some more vaping mods, you can go to efun.top, and I'll throw the link right up over here, efun.top, and do note that these uh, vaping mods are shipped from China, so it will take a while, but it will get to you, and they will be very authentic. Because I will prove it right now by scratching off the number of authenticity at the bottom of the box, revealing the number, and then we go into the Aspire website to make sure that it is in fact authentic. And congratulations, the Aspire product you bought with this security code is original. Thank you for your purchase. So, it is a real deal from Aspire. So, thank you eFun Top for sending this unit and that I will spread the word about good quality vaping units at breakthrough prices. The only drawback, they will be coming from China, so you will be expecting to wait a little longer than you would ordering from anybody in the States. So, all in all, I'm pretty impressed. I'm impressed with the service. Uh, the people at eFunTop do have a um, online tech support uh, in case you have any problem with your orders or any problem with your mods. You can go right to the eFunTop website and log in to anybody who is online. You can get into a type chat right away with somebody during business hours and they will help you along as best as possible. They aim to please. And I really can't wait to place my next order to see what I do have in this coupon. So for, for the unboxing series, this is Sonic Blue, and I'm going to enjoy my brand new Aspire Pegasus mod direct from eFun Top. And as always, happy vaping.